Hi ladies and gentlemen, it's Edgar Rapp from Danny and this is the Bongo Forex founder and today we're going to have a weekly analysis and forecast and it's Saturday, yeah, 7 p.m. Saturday 7 p.m. and guys, please, please, please remember, remember, just remember this video, yeah, is not even providing service. So every trade you're gonna make, it has to be on your own risk, right? Remember, trading Forex and all our derivative products are extremely risky and yeah just trade safely guys trade safely. now jumping on to charts um, i want to highlight some key fundamental shifts i think this will affectly uh, or adversely affect our trades and how we look at the market fundamentally um, on thursday to, to friday we saw um, donald trump and xi jinping have positive trade talks and that could potentially affect the financial markets in general from stock markets to commodities to um, currencies now guys um, watching this videos all traders um, you need to factor in fundamentals because we, on the last few days we had massive volatility in the market our people didn't really understand what's going on some people oh, I know this is just technical that's not technical that is fundamental now the understanding fundamental is the key ingredient of price action in the market as you sell for the market is bearish or bullish at a certain time it's not because of the technicals it's simply because of fundamentals and the bigger picture and the bigger guy in terms of fundamental is the interest rate differential and if you don't interest differential is don't bother just go to a cause and um, you know you go to a cause and we're gonna teach you how to use interest differential to aid your trade now I'm super super interested with this fundamental shift and that will force me to jump straight just straight to commodities remember if you have a strong trade talks positive ones you're gonna have good economic growth and that will drive the demand of um, raw materials such as oil oil is being used for driving machinery not only machinery but even producing plastic and glasses if you didn't know that guys the cell phone you're all using the laptop you're using right now is being being produced by oil so it makes oil a massive massive attractive uh, commodity to trade starting with oil i'm gonna trade west, Te west texas oil uh because uh well, this fundamental shift of these trade talks now there's going to be a huge demand of oil from further production now, as a trader you want to grab that opportunity as soon as possible now dear traders now looking at analysis on oil you see oil has just hit those two um those actually three double bottom and we know the price of the three double bottom technically we want to buy on that trade by looking at certain areas like necklines where we could enter trade so so far so good this is where i see the market is going next um so if the price comes here it could be a retest or pull back a retest there i want to buy oil all the way up to 60.76 now that is very short analysis on oil and i'm super interested to see what's going to happen next next trade will be um will be gold and now gold is totally different from oil the way analyzing the way you trade it so remember guys the way you're going to trade gold has to be a bit uh, it has to have a negative look against oil and also has a negative look against the currency um the dollar currency now, um, due to trade talks, you know, the, the economic recession is still a highly probable thing um, to happen in the next few months. But with the trade talks right now, it has a temporary artificial boost to the economy. Now, it makes gold less attractive. It makes JPY less attractive. Now, if you didn't watch our, um, our last video on our weekly review, I analyzed how JPY is a very important pair to understand at the current market conditions. Now moving on, gold. I'm looking for. Um, I'm really sad that gold is going to, you know, it's going to, you know, going bearish anytime soon um, because of the current economic shift, uh, fundamental shift, and the, you know, the trend line start to look a bit bearish. Now you can see it's a bit of a wedge. Well, I want to see the price coming here. I want to look up for a short right there, or to be a very conservative trader, I want to jump to short that trade right there. 
that area would provide me a really good breakout strategy entry point and I would like to sell um, gold right there at the neckline and that would provide me a really good risk reward ratio and um, yeah so that's what I focus on gold and I think this is going to be it's going to last for a couple months a couple months from now you're gonna see gold maybe going bearish it's something that I don't really like to do because I'm a very you know positive bullish person on gold based on the fundamentals the general fundamentals of the economy um, otherwise if it's going to sell off good enough on that trade if it's going to go um, bullish well it's not a problem because you will put a stop loss there and a stop loss is um, risk reward ratio 3.04 now after saying that I just want to jump on straight to um, analyzing all these um, on to analyze these um, currencies now analyzing currencies all may know that i like to start with the dxy dxy is my compass is my navigator is like my shooting star it helps me to see where the market um, the market waves are heading to um the dollar is still very strong very bullish um so far so good however now we just see the price just breaking through the um support upper trend line now what are we going to expect from here it's going to be a bit of bear uh still a bullish to neutral bias on gold no on 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 sorry guys on uh, on dollar on long run but for now i think the price might retest over there and just drop all the way down so probably here could provide a bit of you know um sell off on on, 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 on dollar and the rest of all currency pairs against the dollar will have a very bullish um, trend coming soon but when the price reaches here i think it's going to shift i think the price will start going up and you know bring the cause back of the um the, the bearishness of all currency pairs now those currency pairs we're looking at uh like to sell all the dollar usd until that to happen that distance between that area there to that area provides a really good weighting distance or uh, to trade um Aussie dollar usd as you can clearly see Aussie dollar usd is on a massive sale of um, um acceleration and that provides a really good entry point right there remember guys the interest differential between Aussie dollar with a usd dollar is huge so provide us a really good sweet bearish market that could have very dependable entry points and exit point so here would be a great area for me to sell otherwise it's gonna be a really long trade to you you have to wait for a very long time i think the price will just come and play around here may break out and try those areas there if it comes to those areas i want to sell but i want to sell it until it breaks through this neckline here this blue line that's where i'm going to look for that sell off so the two opportunities are either here or here so trading also dollar you see that's my take on Aussie dollar USD and I'm going to be extremely patient all you have to do is just put an alert on your metaphor trader system and also put um, put uh, also put a sell stop if the price goes above that time timing I would like to jump on to uh, USD chef USD chef on the long run looks a bit bullish uh, the market is super trendy and anything could happen now based on the temporary bearish to neutral bias on, uh, on dollar I want to see this price breaks through this neckline here as you can see allow me to zoom in so you can see clearly this is still a bullish market but if the price breaks through this bullish trend I just want to see it coming back to a bit of pullback and the retest all the way down a bit of that and then further sell off all the way down to 0.9743 now quickly jump on to usd try this is usd turkish lira it's also another interesting pair to trade uh because uh you know technically it's a, it's a sound trade to make um you have two one two um, kissing points the market looks bearish there's some sort of a wedge being formed there if you look closely um probably the price will you know drop all the way down but the key fundamental issue here you have to look at is you know the emerging markets start to look a bit strong because of the um, us china 
um, trade talks that could provide a bit of a, uh, strength to Turkish lira and other and other currencies from emerging markets. And since the dollar you have a temporary temporary bearishness um, in the market, so this looks as like a sound trade to take for the coming week. Next trade will be um, euros dollar. Euros dollar has a very sensible uptrend. And I really like to remember last week we provided a signal to trade the euro or the dollar by buying in that area and you can see the price went all the way up. We still halfway to our full take profit and you have to be patient guys. Remember that risk reward is 3.4 and the target is 470 pips guys. So you have to be extremely patient on euro or the dollar. Yeah I know it's gonna be it's gonna take a while. Now, if you didn't enter that trade, you have to be extremely patient, guys. You have to wait for the price to retrace a little bit back over there. That's where you're gonna buy that trade, and then you're gonna look for, uh, you know, retest over there, and you're gonna buy it. Next trade will be, um, I think I almost exhausted all trades. Also, Bitcoin, USD. Now, crypto trade. Now, I'm wait. I'm I'm sparing one trade because trade I've been singing and preaching for a very long time. And I hope some few traders took this trade. And I'll be so glad to hear your comments down below on that trade. Okay, Bitcoin. Bitcoin I'm still holding that bearish uh, sentiment of Bitcoin. Probably here. I just want to see the price coming up here. And I look for that sell all the way down. Now, da -da -da -da, the last trade that will be UADP. Now, EuroGBP, I'm going to have an exclusive video for EuroGBP for itself. Now, I'm, more, I'm not going to take you know, this you know, limited time for our weekly analysis on EuroGBP. I'm going to have a specific almost 5 minutes analysis for EuroGBP. So, pay attention for the coming trade on EuroGBP and I'll be extremely happy to hear comments down below on EuroGBP. So, remember guys, subscribe to our channel. Uh, follow us on Instagram and feel free to come into offices, ask them questions. If you're not enrolled to our courses, the link is down below where you could go in there in our website and inquire for the course. There's offline and online materials for you guys that help you support you for your trading growth. Remember, trading is a successful um, driven business. You have to be very competitive, you have to fight for your you know to be the top one the top one in this trade or uh, this in this market is really tough thing to do by a hope through but first you're gonna learn a lot of things are going to support you as a trader all the way to the top so guys cheers thank you so much and trade safely